welcome to a nuclear physics lecture. Uh, I'm Dr. Prabhupada Zahmed and this lecture uh, we will talk about uh, cars. So let us uh, start our discussions uh, uh, with the cars. Uh, so most of you uh, people, uh, I mean, who are working in the field of uh, nuclear physics, are studying the nuclear physics, uh, they, they, they knew the fact that uh, most of the matters uh, we see around us is made from protons and the neutrons. I mean, this is the well-known fact. Uh, if someone asks you, uh, I mean, uh, uh, what is the nucleus being made from? So there's a very simple and easy answer for uh, that question. And it's that, uh, uh, I mean, you can easily uh, answer the question that uh, uh, is being made from uh, the protons uh, and the neutrons. So the questions that the people have in mind is that if you are saying that the nucleus is being made from the protons and neutron, so uh, what are being the particles from which the protons, uh, from which the protons and neutrons are being made? So here uh, we are uh, we 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 are uh, uh, going to introduce a new concept and new particles, uh, which is uh, I mean. Uh, uh, the subatomic particles for the protons and neutrons, which we are saying that uh, uh, we are dealing with the particles which are called cars. So what are the cars? So cars are basically the subatomic particles uh, which, uh, which can uh, constitute uh, protons and uh, neutrons. So let's start uh, uh, the, the definitions or the, the discussion again. So uh, uh, you know that, most of you people know that, uh, that matters uh, we see around us is made from protons and neutrons. So we have the question in mind that uh, what's, uh, what are being the particles or what can be the particles from which proton and neutrons are made. So uh, the answer for that is uh, which are being uh, composed of uh, composed of up and down cars. I mean uh, we have to answer the questions that there are further smaller particles whose combinations are made of uh, protons and neutrons. So those particles uh, which uh, constitute uh, protons and neutrons, we call them what? We call them uh, cars. So let's have uh, some further discussion about the cars. So what are the cars and how many types of the cars we have? So uh, Basically, uh, there are uh, six cars, but uh, phys uh, physicists usually talk about them in term of uh, three pairs. So what are these uh, three pairs? Uh, these three pairs are uh, up and down cars, charm and strange cars, uh, and top and bottom cars. Also for each of these cars, there is a correspondence anti cars. I mean, it's the, uh, normally we have uh, six cars, uh, but uh, if you are a physicist, uh, so physicists, they, they like to talk about them in terms of pairs. Uh, so that these six cars, they are being divided into a pairs of up and down cars, a uh, charm and strange and uh, top and bottoms. Uh, so, uh, I mean, there is also, uh, I mean, for all the cars, we have uh, anti cars. Uh, cars, uh, Cars have the unusual characteristics of having a fractional electric charge. I mean, normally uh, you people know about the protons and the uh, electrons. Uh, you know that uh, the proton has a, a charge equal to one, that is uh, an integer charge. Similarly, you know that uh, the electrons uh, has a charge is equal to minus one. But something unusual that we discuss are we, we know about the cars. So cars, they are the subatomic particles which has the fractional charge. So how much the fractional charge the cars have that we will discuss later on in this particular lecture. So uh, this, this is something unusual about the cars. That they have the charge, but the charge is uh, not the, like the one we have for uh, uh, the protons, uh, which has a positive charge equal to 1, and uh, for the electron, which has a negative charge equal to minus 1. So, uh, cores also carry another type of the charge uh, that we call color charge. I mean, this is a new type of the charge. 
the new type of the charges that we have only for the car and uh, uh, we call that color charge uh, the, this concept we will discuss uh, later on uh, in this particular uh, lectures uh, so let's uh, uh, talk about all uh, I mean the, the the quantum number of the cars so here you can see that we have uh, on the left hand side uh, in this particular table we uh, we have uh, the type of the cars in the metal we say uh, we have the the charge uh, that's being carried by uh, each type of the, uh, the uh, each type of the cars and in the spin uh, which uh, each type of the cars have so here you can see that on the left hand side uh, the first type of the cars uh, that we have we call that the up cars and this up cars has a charge the fractional charge that is uh, positive 2 by 3 and a span uh, equal to 1 by 2. Here you can see that all this, all the uh, all type of the cores, uh, they have uh, half integral uh, span. Uh, here, uh, when you come downstairs in this uh, table, so here you can see that the down cars, the down cars has a span, uh, uh, sorry, the charge that is equal to minus 1 by 3. Uh, you come here uh, downstairs again, we have strange, uh, strange cars. And it's strange for uh, it has a, a charge uh, that is equal to minus one by three. Uh, the charm, the charm has a charge uh, two by three plus two by three. The bottom has a, a, a charge minus uh, one by three, and the top has a charge equal to uh, positive two by three. But you can see it here that all type of the uh, cores they have the span which is equal to uh, 1 by 2. So the most common thing uh, in all the, all the cork is that they are spin that all of them have uh, a half integral spin that is all of them they have a 1 by 2 spin. So uh, a fractional charge in the unseen cork, uh, you know that uh, Mary Gelman and uh, George Weck proposed the idea of the quarks to find some order in the chaos of particles. You know that there are plenty of particles inside the nucleus. So in order to give some order uh, to the particles that have been found inside the nucleus uh, and uh, uh, inside the nucleus, that is proton and the neutron. So two people who were, who were trying the level best, who were doing uh, some excellent work at that particular time, and uh, that was the time in, uh, in 1960s. Uh, where the people were trying to give some order to uh, to the particles uh, that had been found in that uh, particular era. So what actually they what actually they did? Uh, they found that uh, baryons, uh, uh, baryons are the particle consisting of three cores. Uh, I mean they give the combinations for uh, the particles uh, that we have inside the nucleus. That is, uh, uh, I mean uh, the type we call baryons. Uh, the most famous of them. Uh, uh, they are being be, be called uh, the uh, protons and neutron. So what actually uh, they suggest, uh, I mean what's been suggested by Mary Gelman and George Zweck, uh, they suggest according to their suggestions, uh, they said that uh, baryons are the particles uh, consisting of three cars. Uh, that is Q, Q, Q. I mean uh, it's a particular combination for the baryons. Similarly, they are given combinations for the mesons. They say that mesons are the particles. Uh, uh, mesons are the particles consisting of a quark and anti quarks. So, what is, what was the most common thing in these discussions? Uh, they say that the quarks, uh, uh, the baryons, uh, they are uh, uh, being made from uh, three combinations of the quarks. And mesons, they are being made from a combination of a cores and anti -cores. So here you can see, uh, it's, it's a table for, uh, I mean, it's for the baryons. I mean, all possible combinations for uh, the baryons uh, in this particular tables we have. But uh, if you come to the right hand side tables, that's in this table here. And this uh, table, we have all the possible uh, combinations for uh, the meson. So these are the mesons. And this is the cars combinations for the mesons. Uh, so uh, here you can see that uh, the combinations of the the cars for the baryons. These is the possible combinations.
So one may have question in mind that how do we know about these kind of combinations and how these combinations are being possible? Why uh, we do not have a combination of four, five, or six cars, or why we don't have a combination of one, uh, one cars or two cars? So that we will discuss later on this particular lecture. The same we can have here that why we have Q and uh, that why we have a combination of cars and anti cars for are the meson so these are the characteristic i mean so you know that each combination is gave uh, give rise to charge strength and bar so you can you can have close link and you can find it for yourself i mean if you're interested in further discussions you can easily find it in some of the well-known book available uh, i mean from the different website you can google that and you can find it even inside your library uh, so here's you you can see the combinations i mean once you know the basic uh, the the basic cores uh, so uh, you can easily add up them you can easily know about the, the charge and what will be the output charge you can easily know about the strangeness you can easily know about uh, the bars so the same you can do for uh, the mesons and the possible combinations and as a result of that combination you can uh, know what will be the result in charge and what will be the strangeness and also the, the type of the particle uh, that is the, the meson the resulted mesons uh, so a uh, fractional charge uh, let's continue our discussion with a fractional charge and uh, unseen uh, cores so uh, uh, when we have the discussion so there's uh, arose uh, some problems with uh, introducing cars so what are the problems the problems uh, we have uh, is that with the fractional charge and you people know that uh, the fractional charge uh, the fractional charge never seen before because the people were only talking about uh, positive charge and that is plus one and the negative charge and minus one uh, the plus one charge for the protons and minus one charge for the uh, uh, for electron so i mean it is something very strange for the people uh, because they have never seen it before and cards are not observable i mean no, nobody has seen uh, nobody ever nobody have ever observed the the cards so uh, these are the problems and another problem was that not all the car, uh, not uh, all cars combination exist in nature. I mean, it's, uh, it's another problem. These are some serious problem with the cars. Uh, and uh, it appears, uh, it appears to violate the Pauli exclusion principle. Just like we people have uh, observed on the, the previous slide, uh, we have possible combinations uh, for the car. I mean, the one possible combinations you can see here uh, in this particular diagram the combinations for the protons, the combinations for the neutrons, and along with that, uh, you can see the combination for the uh, the pairs. Uh, you you can observe here that the that, that the proton is being made from two up cards and one down card. Similarly, you you can see and you can observe the neutron is being made from the one up card and two down card. So here's uh, we are saying that it appeared. I mean, it seemed like I mean uh, when you just put an eye uh, on these combinations, uh, of course, for the proton. So it appears to violate the Pauli exclusion principle. So what do we have to do? Uh, I mean, so you know that the Pauli exclusion principle was originally uh, I mean formulated. Uh, it was originally formulated for the two electrons. Uh, I mean, so all the people know. Our uh, working uh, in the field of physics, they know that was Pauli exclusion principle, and they also know that that originally they were being designed for uh, the two electrons. Uh, later on, uh, the people realized that uh, the same rules applies to all the particles, uh, which has a spin equal to uh, one by two. I mean, it's all the the, the particle which has uh, integ a half integral spans. So uh, they obey the Pauli exclusion principle until unless you're working with the bosons or you're working with the, uh, the graviton, uh, which not yet been uh, uh, discovered. So consider the combination, consider the combination of the three up cards. Um, uh, and uh, we're saying that, uh, I mean, so all these combinations, uh, I mean, uh, it gave rise to a particle uh, with the uh, double positive charge. And it's saying they're supposed to consist of three cores in the same state. So apparently, uh, uh, this combination uh, is uh, inconsistent with the Pauli exclusion principle. So what do we have to do? I mean, uh, how should we uh, revise the concept? 
or what we should add to uh, I mean to the idea or the concept of the chart or the combination of a chart so that to mad it and line with the poly exclusion principle because we know that uh, they have the uh, I mean uh, uh, they have the, the span top integral span so they must obey the poly exclusion principle but apparently uh, you people uh, you can see it or you can observe it uh, you can observe here uh, you can easily uh, I mean see uh, you can easily see it and observe that all they have uh, uh, integral uh, half integral span but apparently they seem to violate the file exclusion principle so uh, we need to find out uh, some uh, solutions for this problem to make the cost to better file exclusion principle so for that uh, I mean uh, we have the concept of color charge of the curve so what is that uh, just like we mentioned uh, on a pre previous slide that there is only certain combinations for the car and other combinations they are not possible or do not exist so one have the question in mind uh, this is why uh, one had to explain uh, why uh, one saw only uh, those combination of the cars and anti cars that had integer uh, charge and why not one ever saw a kyo 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 bar are countless other combinations i mean these are the questions uh, that the people have in minds that why there have been only allowed a particular combinations of the cars and uh, why not the other combinations they are being possible so this has been the questions and this questions uh, is being explained the answer for this question is being explained by uh, Gelman and others I mean so when the people ask these questions uh, so the, the, the physicists are the people who are working in this particular field uh, the most uh, famous among them was uh, uh, Gelman and he tried to explain the reasons uh, for the combinations of the of the cars uh, so uh, Gelman and others thought that the answer had to lie in the nature of forces uh, between the cars what is that force uh, this force is the so-called strong force and the new charge that feels the force are called a uh, color charge I mean they introduces the concept of the color charge so what we have you know and what they explain they said that even though they have nothing to do with the uh, with the ordinary colors I mean uh, though we, we we can call that the color charge but it has nothing to do with the with the original concept or with the original uh, colors so how they explain uh, uh, this kind of shape of the color charge so according to Gelman uh, uh, according to Gelman and his uh, friend they said that uh, they propose actually that a course uh, can have three color charges uh, what we have next uh, I mean uh, what are these three uh, charges uh, this type of the charge was called uh, color why is called color because a uh, certain combination of the cores a uh, color would be neutrals in the sense that uh, three ordinary colors can yield white uh, a neutral color i mean this was a concept uh, which has been proposed by uh, uh, gelman in order to uh, make them in line with the poly exclusion principle so what they propose uh, they propose that cars can have three color charges uh, this type of charge was called color uh, because certain combination of cores uh, color would be neutral in the sense that uh, there uh, uh, a sense that three ordinary colors can yield white uh, and neutral colors uh, only particles that are only particles uh, that are color neutrals can exist uh, which is why only uh, q q q and uh, q q bar are seen i mean that that was the uh, being proposed by uh, gelman uh, they said that uh, only particles that are color neutrals i mean uh, uh, they done the combinations of the particles and they found that uh, if a combinations uh, they have three combinations for the cars and uh, combination of cars and anti cars so they found that if we have certain combination uh, we have the combination of cars and anti cars in such a way if they color neutral 
so according to their proposition according to their idea only those car can exist uh, which uh, uh, when they add up and they colors and to a neutral color that is uh, for example um, uh, how we can further explain this um, uh, so this this concept i mean uh, they say that if we have these three cores uh, like let's suppose we have this combination of car q q q and q q bar so if these three uh, they they can color neutral so only this combination can exist otherwise not so this uh, this uh, concept uh, basically resolve a uh, problem with the fall exclusion uh, principle so how we can uh, explain this further i mean in sample word so sample word you can see here uh, we have colors uh, where we have uh, red colors we have green color we have blue colors so you 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 know that you can see it by yourself that how uh, the combination of different colors uh, yields uh, uh, further colors that is you can see it for yourself uh, that how uh, i mean uh, the red colors uh, the combination of red colors and green colors uh, yield into a, a new color and here again you can see that uh, i mean what kind of colors will yield by the combination of green and uh, green and blue here you can see it here and uh, you can see it by yourself that if you combine all these three colors uh, i mean uh, you combine uh, red green and blue so you can see here that all uh, all of them uh, i mean they result into uh, a neutral color that is a white color so that this this is basically the concept uh, for uh, i mean the type concept for the slide for the combination of the four if they color neutral uh, if you have a certain combination of cards and if those combinations they color neutral so it means that that combination exists otherwise uh, the combinations do not exist so that was the idea and the gelman and, and his friend uh, which uh, uh, which made the cross in line with the uh, poly exclusion uh, principle so that's all uh, we have for the course and this particular lecture I'll see you in uh, more lectures with more details.